Hey everyone, happy Sunday evening, welcome to the stream, so glad you could be here, thank you so much for the great reset Patrick, great timing, just in time to uh, get things kicked off here tonight with MLB Slugfest 2004 for the PlayStation 2. Uh, if you aren't familiar with this uh, this franchise, it is uh, essentially like NBA Jam or NFL Blitz only for baseball, so they're like wacky power-ups, and he's on fire, and gratuitous punching and all of those other sorts of things. So this is part of our growing focus here uh, on uh, on Baseball Sims. I played Super Baseball 2020 just a few days ago. So uh, so we're back <laughs> with even more. This music is a little off-brand, I agree. Uh, the jocks got to me. No, this game is so ridiculous that uh, that I can't resist playing a little bit of it. Yeah, we're getting rid of this whole we're rebranding now. No longer adventure. This is now all about uh, all about sports. It's all baseball. Yeah, not just sports, but baseball. So let me switch over. So glad you can join me now. Good to see Sith Princess. Good to see Pickle Dog, Grayson, Ben, Nick, the whole crowd. It's Baseball Tuesday now. Let's see if we can actually get this up on screen. There we go. All right, so let's just jump right in. I think we need to go to a series. I'm sorry, not a series, a season. We need to really get into this. Yeah, we're gonna be using Saber Metrics here. The whole thing, don't worry. Yeah, I think there was a GameCube version. Oh wait, oh, name your season. We'll name it. Decca. F Jedi. Oh, or Decaf J. I think we're going to be Decaf J. Two kinds of college students, shocks and nerds. That's a jock is my duty to give nerds a hard time. You're absolutely right, Michelle Boring. <laughs> I am, I am uh, Mr. Moneyball himself, Mr. Moneyballer. Okay, and we'll go with a relatively local team with really bad stats. Uh, our local minor league uh, club is a Pittsburgh Pirates <laughs> farm team, so let's jump right in with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Plus, I think there's a surprise on the roster based on a little bit of playtime I had earlier. So let's see, a classic, uh, ooh, skill level, what are my options? Let's go rookie. We go a classic seven inning game. You turn off balls. I'm guessing that means like pitch, not literally. There's no ball. All right. Everything looks great. Oops. All right, let's jump right in there. <laughs> Baseballs. Yeah, no balls mode. That's what I've been looking for all this time. Oh wait. Load season. Oh wait. Here we go. We just got to play. I'll figure out this complex menu system. Don't you worry. Okay, Pirates versus Reds. Tonight's contest. The Pittsburgh Pirates. I don't know what that code does. <laughs> yeah, go get hey, this. The uh, new crazy. issue of Superman just arrived. I don't know if you want to take a look at it. Uh, no, you go you know, ahead. I man. was online last night in the chat room till about four in the morning, uh, <laughs> talking with these guys, having this great conversation about who would win the ultimate showdown, Superman or Batman. And Wait, what, what do you think? So you're online with guys till yeah. four in the morning talking oh, it must about have been Batman. Five in the morning, yeah. And Superman. No, Superman mostly, but it was about the ultimate showdown, and you wouldn't believe how many guys really like Superman. Well, cause I I'd pick Superman over Batman. He can fly, Superman yeah. can fly. Uh, Superman 
has uh, like Lois Lane. Yeah. There yeah. you go. And what? Well, Batman's got Robin. Now, who are you going to choose well, from? Well, Robin's a, a real sidekick. <laughs> Superman just likes Lois, so she doesn't fight. Yeah, but, but Tim, Robin. I mean, who, if, who would you rather have, Lois Lane or Robin? Well, in a fight between Robin and Lois, I'd take Robin. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, anybody want to go to get a sandwich? So. <laughs> This is really in the game, Chudley Cannons. Welcome, by the way. Logan, everybody, Tim yeah. Pitcher with you, along with my good friend, Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy? Yeah, I couldn't wait to get to the park today. The only thing better than baseball's payday. Hey, look, these guys jipped me out of a thousand bucks, Tim. Well, Jimmy, they said they were going to take that out of your check for the monitor you blew up last week. And here comes the leadoff hitter to the plate. All right, let's get in there. Yeah, this is hard to believe, right? The commentary, I think, is the real highlight of the game, personally. Your mileage may vary. It may drive you insane. Who's to say? All right. He scorches one over the first baseman's head. Okay. Got a little, little slow on that one. A little chop at it here. The pitch. This ball is going, going, gone. Goodbye. A home run. And Kendall puts his team ahead by one. Oh, we did it. That, Jimmy. Just listen to them. Yeah, they do. You know, I hate it when I'm outside the park and I hear the crowd roar. I know I missed something good. Yeah, and then you you run inside, but it's, it's too late. I know what you mean, partner. Oh, you gotta love it, man. I'll tell you, that was nice. That wakes a team up. I really like the way this guy carries himself, Jimmy. He's got a lot of poise, and he goes about his business in a very professional manner. There he is. He's kind of like business, humping home plate. Classic move. Okay, so this thing he's getting ready to do. Balances the bat. He stomps the ground so hard it pops back up into his hand. Yes, this was not an arcade game, I don't think. I think this is only at home. It does sound a lot like Columbo. I saw those, <laughs> those mentions a little earlier. Oh, man. Got all of that one. This ball is going to be trouble. Reese... All right, Guns standing double. And Reese has a double. No outs, runner at second. Okay, is this Brad Gals? That sounds right. Who knows? Who's to say? Yeah, Looney Tunes Columbo is a good way to describe it. And now the pitch, and that's grounded foul. Oh! Ah. Thought we put it right down the line. And he got him with the sinker. That's yeah. embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Williamson winds up, and he goes down swinging. You know, his timing wasn't really that bad right there. Stepping really just bad. tough luck. One out, and they've got a man on second. I think that's basically it, Ben. I think that's how it works. First of all, the unhinged attitude of professional wrestling. Oh, God, that sounds like it could be on the back of the box. That's a nasty-looking fork ball. You know, often a hitch in your swing, Jimmy, can be traced to dehydration as a result of too much bacon in your diet. Maybe you ought to give tofu a try. Yeah, that's dumpster sludge tofu. That is terrible. <laughs> it's dumpster, dumpster sludge tofu. Delivers. It's sharply, but foul. Williamson, now the windup. Goes down swinging. He'll have plenty of time to think about that last swing on the bench. Two outs now. Man on second. <laughs> yeah. I can see Vince McMahon in Ramirez these commentators' ears. The batter's box. Yeah, the commentary is absolutely insane. Oh, you, know, you threw one of those. players have great eyes, and that's a good example right there. In case you're wondering, I'm never going to swing for contact. It's always for defenses. And Dunn makes the catch for the final out. And that'll retire the side. After yeah, there was a little something play, on that ball. Pittsburgh leads by one. And don't forget, it's oh, Western Week at WBNT. Stay tuned after the game for the network premiere of Big Rough Saddle Riders. It's an action-packed ride. Sith Princess, I love Baseball Simulator 1000 back in the day. Ooh, you want to see a bean ball on Barry Larkin? Bad news, Barry Larkin. What's he doing? Is Barry Larkin okay? Okay, let's see. What's my bean ball button? Oh, I don't have a bean ball on my options. I think it's literally a pitch you can normally sh uh, throw. We'll give him the old curvy ball. Oh, there's bean. We'll give him next time. Hit in the air to right field. 
Yep. And Larkin. And oh, no. no. Take that, Gary Larkin. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Curveball again. That's the best pitch because it curves. It's sharply into oh, the no. Field. Rounding second. Now throw it home, throw it home. And yeah. Casey is on second with a double. No outs. The random punching. Okay. He's giving the old sinker. He'll never see it coming. A little outside. Oh, oh no. Second baseman's head. The Reds tie the score. They are lighting me up, guys. The throw to second. And Casey scores to give his team the lead. No outs, oh, no. It's King Griffey Jr. Griffey Jr. The best baseball game remains at the end of Naked Gun 1. This is correct. This is absolutely correct. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we give him the old change up, I think. Griffey takes a cold strike to count his own one. Now, sometimes a hitter overthinks it to play Jimmy. He was looking for a certain pitch, then he got one right down the middle and throws up. Griffey takes Ooh. a cold strike. Oh, and two's the count. King Griffey Jr. He holds his hands right up next to his ears. Jimmy, he should bring them down a little closer to his body. You ever eat pig ears, Tim? <laughs> you ever eat pig ears, Tim? It's a great question. What do you think about it? Swing and a miss, strike three. Ooh. And he just smoked it by him there, Jimmy. Look, he's slapping his ass at him. That's the ultimate side disrespect in this sport. <laughs> it's hard to believe this game exists. Benson, the wind up, and that ball just hit him. That's got to hurt. So this actually it hurts his strength. His strength went down two just points due to the beanie. <laughs> you actually can use that to weaken strong players. As a strategic move. All right, we gotta get serious though. Sends a blast oh no! Boom. Now oh, Ronnie that runner's gonna score. Maybe two runners are gonna Boom score. Round third. The Reds widen their lead, and Branyan pulls up at second with a double. We're not doing great. Get him, catcher. Would <laughs> you imagine catcher running from home plate to second just to punch somebody? Like a dance sprint. Like, ready. I have to hurt. This is all I have. <laughs> He's running. Gets under at center field. Uh, McCulliac, and he can't get to it in time. The Reds extend their okay. lead. Okay, this isn't going great. I'm going to be completely... Oh, man. I'm going to be completely honest here. Jay LaRue, he's going to do the cool LaRue. pick the bat back Here's up into his hands move. All right. <laughs> we, we need something to happen here. The move breaks for third. And he dropped the ball. He just dropped the ball. <laughs> this is some excellent base running and field even play. Play your favorite visual gangs. <laughs> Lila Beanie Ooh, plays so badly. There's an ambulance on each base. Yeah, that's really good. And I need to rewatch the burn spot. The They'd really like to okay. They're really the lighting me up here. We need to come up with something better. Alright. Struck out King Grippy Jr. and everything else has been downhill. Oh, man. Fires to third, and he beats the throw. Little kidney touch. Okay, Barry Larkin, we're back to the top of the order. This isn't looking great. Give him the old sinker. Larkin takes Straight down the middle. Give him the fastball on the outside. I feel like that's where we need to head. Well, looks like he's right down the middle. Okay, I've got special pitch. There's something wrong at that one. I'm a monkey. Come on, I, I, why didn't he swing? <laughs> why didn't he swing? How is any of this allowed? 
Fly ball left field. This one could be trouble. Come on. The Reds are putting on an offensive clinic right now. Second, oh no, he's on fire. Second. He's literally a fireman. The Reds. And he dropped the ball. It wasn't very special at all. Doubled last time up. Only one out, and they've got a man on third. Oh, no. oh. This one could go. And it does. Touch them all. It's a home run. And Casey widens the lead. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's man. Hit me a jack as fast as you can. And fast he did. One He's out. getting severely wrecked empty. here. Maybe I need to go down to trainee difficulty. <laughs> Oh, Alright. You know, the was actually thrown with just one Alright, did you win your pitch. super mega baseball? Big win. Things aren't looking great here. I'm sorry to bring you back to what looks like a disaster. Then and now the pitch. seven nothing. And that's line foul. It's nice for ten runs this inning. Which seems mathematically unlikely. No, I don't think it's the Reds they're that good. He wasn't fooled by that pitch out of his own. A little I think that is completely on ways. me. Let's see if he gets a pitch to hit here. Benson with the windup. Sends up a drive to right field. Boom, rounds first. This is the first inning, yes. It's not been a great inning. And Boom winds it's, up at second with a double. It's been a rough inning. See if we can get some retribution. Uh -oh. 0 for 1 to this point. Nothing much last. Here we go. He struck out swinging. King Griffey up to the bat. Yeah, it really is frustrating that they seem to hit to the corners so much. I'm guessing they want to make it a hitting game so it feels more exciting. Who's that? Boone heads for home. One run is across. And Griffey is on first with a single. Take that kid, Griffey Jr. I'm angry that your rookie card isn't worth anything anymore. One out, a man on base. Okay. A quick throw to first, and the runner gets back in. Ow! <laughs> Wouldn't you love to see an actual MLB player do that? Just like knee someone right in the uh, right in the human body. Drives one to left center. Ow! Oh. How the hell he's hitting Junior, exclusively in the gap? The there you go. And nice done, nice job hitting the cutoff single. man. And he popped that ball loose. Sorry to say, King Griffey's a real jerk. Brandon, and he is one for one today. Doubled and came around in his last try. <laughs> That's true. Um, the, Drives one to center field. The bad thing about baseball is it could last a second. In oh. time. Oh no, that was only the second out. Oh my God. How's that only the second out? And so there are two outs. Men on first and third. Team. I'm going to have to get better at the Benson, baseball. And here's the windup. Sends up a drive left field. And Giles pulls it down. Ooh. After an inning of play, Cincinnati is way out in front. Tonight <laughs> on Practical Reality and Mishaps, TV funny man Ed Walston mistakenly jokes with his waiter. Look who's up to bat. To lead things off. Mr. Stairs. This is my guy. I guess there was a player on the Pirates named something stairs. I'm gonna say Mark. Hit hard to the shortstop. Throws to first. Out. Oof. And he could have made that one, Jimmy. I don't know, Month. man. He was running pretty hard. He looked like a truck with no brakes. One out. Nobody on base. All right. Let's put this out here. Go on. Mackawak. Yeah. Mackawak. Yeah. Gets under it, right field. And Kearns makes the grab. I don't mind hits do anything. Who do the Pirates even have during this period? Two outs, nobody on base. Uh, uh, it's hard to say. They don't have Andy Van Slyke, who I would have liked to have seen. I think we're about 10 years too late for that. They don't have Bobby Bonilla. Line smash to the shortstop. He makes the grab. And that'll do it for this half inning. At the middle of two, the Reds lead big time.
Tonight at 10 on Newsbreakers, we uncover sexy secrets of the stars. You'll be shocked to see what we found. That joke felt like it needed a punchline. And here comes the bat at the plate, lead off the inning. Jacques LaRue. Benson, now ready for the delivery. Oh, wow, they really didn't have a winning season for that long? They did have one of the worst set of stats in the entire game, like, when I selected them, so... Hard ground ball toward the hole. And he's out at first base. <laughs> she can't go back to the dugout. Bases are empty. Yes, this is an accurate historical record. Yeah, you can actually replay this. Um, and Ramirez puts it away. And you would find this matches up exactly with the box scores. Larkin, two hits and two at bats. Uh -oh. Doubling came around in his last try. Gets ready. That bat just flew into his hands and it's on fire. Oh, man. You know what we got to do with this, don't you? <laughs> Mike, you are correct. We're going to beam him. Here comes the old bean ball. Holy smokes! And that was just some uncalled for aggression that has got the batter fuming mad. He catch that? A two-run home run his last time up. He caught the ball. Oh my god. What was I supposed to do with that? There's a shot to the shortstop. Oh my gosh. It forced an error because he's on fire. And Casey has himself a single. <laughs> Boone stands in. Doing the old sinker. Hit sharply second base. Guns it to second. He got him. There we go. Much better inning. The Jim Boone. The Reds lead by a whole bunch. Tonight, oh, no. breakers, what you don't know about your toothbrush can't hurt you. Or can it? What we found may shock you. Or will it? And here comes the first batter to lead off the inning. Has the other commentator just disappeared? It's a message to Philly that this game's going to run long. Very possible. Williamson winds up. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-1. His problem there was he had no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Too true. Get on the line over the first baseman. And turns. Oh, makes come the catch. on. Not fair. See, I dig the commentary, too. I think it mostly works. He cranked his solo uh -oh. shot last time up. He's smoking. I think one more hit, and I could be on fire. We're going to hit for power, because why would you ever hit for contact? The pitch. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-1. Oof. No, you're welcome to repost it. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, yeah. If Sith Princess doesn't mind. Send a blast. Drifting foul. Got around on that one a little too early. do you think Cy Young is? I mean, he's got to be up there, huh? Reese, and he is one for one today. Doubled last time up. Yeah, this is... So I'm playing true to form. This is an accurate simulation. And he lifts this one to right field. And he puts it away. Oh, man. Bugs Columbo could be a good character. And tonight, following the game on Crime Scene Witness Stories, an eyewitness tells the story of witnessing a witness disappearance in a witness relocation program gone bad. It's sure to excite you. And here's the batter to lead things off. How can he be a bat again? What's he even doing? Who's he talking to? All right, King Griffey Jr. Like Pedro Serrano, you hate the curveball. Yeah. Look at that fighting pirate. Uh, would be a good start. One out. Bases are empty. 
<laughs> All right, yeah, I love the buoy every time you make a play. Swung at it like he was chopping mm. wings. Gave the old special pitch. Done. Takes a cold strike on two. Mm. You know, that was you supposed can't to be teach outside. A kid patience, but I tell you, this kid's got patience. Maybe too much patience. <laughs> too much patience is his problem. There's a shot at first base. Well, I really should do for that, huh? Done. Yeah, Round please first. go second. Rose to second. He is safe. Oh man! He dropped the ball. Brandon, a perfect two for two on the day. It's hard to believe this game exists, right? Like, is it just me? And he doesn't I loaded take the it up on that one. earlier today. That. Well, I'll tell you, this booth stinks, Tim. <laughs> I loaded it up earlier today, and it was just like, is this really a game? It's, it is like something from a fever dream, and I have to say, that wins me over. Winds up. I read where this guy learned to hit by his dad firing marbles out of an old Civil War cannon at him, Jimmy. He had to swing at it with a broomstick. Tim, you're just making this garbage up, aren't you? Marbles and a cannon? That is, where that is so strange. That's you. <laughs> you get marbles shot in a Civil, a Civil War cannon. <laughs> One for two in this game. Fly it out his last at bat. It's really hard to control your pitch. Got under that one to left center. Done. Like, now I can't really get it where I want it to go consistently. And turns. <laughs> Only one out. Runners on first and second. Uh -oh. Jacques Leroux is back. doesn't take the bait on the pitch away. And that pitch was not to his liking. You know, Jimmy seems to be seeing the ball much better as of late. Much more selective hitter. Gets under it to left center. Branyan, round third. And LaRue is on first with a single. And the ball pops loose. This guy's got to get ahead because he's got to get on base here, Tim. Williamson, one for two to this point. Fly it out his last at bat. 8.0. That's like better than some of the finest games of the air, I imagine. Sends up a drive center field. He could have extra bases. How's everything just right in the gap? Now rounding third. They'll play at home. Get him, Ramirez. Just one out and a runner at third base. 15 to 1. Now set to deliver. Not looking good. You remember when I got a leadoff home run, guys? And it's been all completely downhill since. Holy smokes! And the batter did not take that well at all. He is burning up and could explode any minute. Just oh, one no. Out. Men on first and third. Casey steps in. Yeah, I'd love to have something happen at the base sometime. Left field. Giles plays it off the bounce. One run is in. And Casey has himself a single. Oh, Boom. Two okay, we're going to have to change this Golden to training mode, I think. Hit in the air to left. And he'll make the... It's happening. We're leaving this season, everyone. It's happening. We're going to trainee mode. It's too difficult. I'm bad in this game. All right. If you have enough, you should get swarmed by players like when Link hits some chickens in Zelda. I like that idea. Okay. Let's see. For my options. And I changed the skill level. Oops. Oh, he can update the uh, rosters from the memory card. 16 ones recover. 
16 was basically like the interest for the fat of it. But yeah, 16 to 1 is usually when I got put in in like Little League. Uh, this was like where Jets can really shine. <laughs> but how do I get over there? How's this menu work? There we go. We can go to five innings. More options. Ooh. Okay. Put a classic five inning game. We're gonna jump right into quick play mode. It's a score for a pro team versus a little league team. Hey, Pork Treat, how's it going? I've tried the uh, first game in Super Mega Baseball, but actually I've been considering picking up Super Mega Baseball 3 uh, just in the last few days. So, uh, do you like it? I found the first one super charming. Okay, he requests for a better team. I mean, we could be the Yankees. Who's a good who's a good baseball team? Oh, the Blue Jays. You know, I like where your head's at. Let's see. How were the Jays around this time? <laughs> Have I gone past them already? Let's see. Why am I not seeing the Blue Jays? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> Oh, that was it? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready for that. You know who I'm going to go with, though? I'm going to go with my Little League team that I played for proudly for four years, wearing the uniform, game in and game out. There we go. It's Expos time, baby. And we'll go up against our, uh, our countrymen. <laughs> The really radical look the Toronto Blue Jays using a logo I've never actually seen before. Today's contest, the Toronto <laughs> Blue Jays will go up against the Montreal Expos. Pride <laughs> in your city team, says you. Hey, Jimmy, you played ball. Let me ask you, if you were a third base coach, oh, what kind of catch. signal would you give a L2. guy to steal? Interesting. Wow. I, me personally, yeah. it was always you scratch your nose. I mean, what if you had a real scratch in your nose, though? What if you had to scratch it? Well, then you have a signal to cancel the sh the scratch. What so, would that be? Like a well, you would adjust your cup or something? Well, you'd scratch your chin. Well, what if you had a scratch on your chin just by accident you didn't realize, and so then he thinks the steel's off? No, everything's a signal. If you want to cancel a signal, you right. have to have a signal. So pretty soon you're just slapping your face. She's thinking hard about these cocky catches. <laughs> yeah, the hot girl. Yeah, I guess this is just sort of the the brand well, identity. Everybody, Tim Kitcho along with Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy, you look a little down. What's the matter? I got my parakeet, Petey. I, uh, he's sick. He's just laying in the cage. Tried to give a chicken ball last night, but it was too hot. Well, I don't know if you should be giving a parakeet chicken. Scalded it. Anyway, it's time to play ball. And here's the first batter leading off. <laughs> don't pitch with my brother. Don't pitch like my brother. All right. Let's see if we can get a big old hit here to lead off. Hit hard over the shortstop. There it is. On a scale of one to ten, that was a one. Boy, that was nice. Was that a was that a cocky one catch? Out. Nobody on base. Hey, too, man. No, there no, we can share something with Expos. We can clap the nom de plume. Sturts. With the windup, that was the a nom de auto voiture. He had no chance catching up to that. Is that car? I have to pick that up. Couldn't hold up. Now he's in the hole. Oh, and two. Oh, that pitch was a son of a gun. One that hot stuff, baby. Look out. Yeah, I proudly wore the Expos cap through most of my childhood. Into the shortstop. Guns into first, and he yeah. is out. There are two outs. Base is empty. Msipiki. Classic Msipiki. I think the Nats are what the Expos were. Msipiki takes a cold strike. Mm. Oh, and one's the count. Don't know what to do with one of those pitches. His hands right up next to his ears, Jimmy. He should bring them down a little closer to his body. You ever eat pig ears, Tim? My dog likes to chew on him. Tim's game picks it up. Man. 
after a half inning of play, we are tied at zero. Tonight on Practical Reality and Mishaps, TV funny man Ed Walston mistakenly jokes with his waiter. Watch what happens when our professional stuntman and three-time kickbox champion is not amused. And here Here's my favorite uh, going to a baseball game story. In 1986, uh, when I guess I was nine years old, my dad got us tickets to go see uh, some Atlanta Braves games. We were going to see a three-run homestand against the, uh, the the New York Metropolitans. Um, and it was my first time ever going to a big city. I grew up in a really rural area, way out in the country. First time in a big city. I was so excited to be in Atlanta. And we went to the first uh, first game. Oh, no, Grayson, don't say that. We went to the first game that, of the three games we had tickets for. And my dad disliked the crowds and the waiting in line and all the other things that are part of going to any sort of event like that and unilaterally decided that was going to be our last game of the three game series gave our tickets to the cleaning lady at our hotel room and then we just drove on back home for vacation like four days early <laughs> It was horrible. It was like the worst trip ever. It sounds almost like that John Mulaney uh, stopping at McDonald's bit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Love that MLB anymore. baseball. Stewart. Stewart steps in. <laughs> He's hated it. I will say that the uh, housekeeping uh, lady was very excited to uh, to receive the gift. And he shows a good eye holding up on that pitch. And he showed great control holding off on that one. Yeah. Yeah. They, didn't they win the series that year? Wasn't that them? Drives oh, yeah. Absolutely. Field. Yeah. I did see one game with uh, Daryl Strawberry. Stewart, rounding first. Fires to second. He's in there safely. Yeah. It was, it was great fun seeing the... Uh, World Series team. I did get a little uh, souvenir oh, no. ice cream for a good holding uh, New York Mets batting helmet. So, you know. Errol. Errol. Yeah. Well, I would have loved to have seen it. It, it sounded like it would have been a great year to watch the Mets Normally play. Normally, he would have swung at that one, Jimmy, but he's really been developing into a much more patient seen, hitter these days. The pitcher missed the ball coming back. It just flew over his head. Yeah, the pitcher absolutely missed the ball. What's happening? The ball's just gone. I think we had a wild pitch, and the ball's just gone now. <laughs> the ball dropped out of this dimension. Great game. GG. <laughs> the catcher's digging to throw it back. Well, technically, I believe the center fielder has the ball because it flew over the pitcher's head. <laughs> Oh, this is good stuff. All right, well. That was their slogan, get mesmerized. My dad was not mesmerized. Not in the least. Oh, really? A novelty album. Oh, my God. Okay, to, hey, Mattel, you're here just in time. We just played this game so well, the ball slipped into a different dimension, and we had to restart. All right. This is a shout out to our, uh, to our Chicago contingent. Everyone, get out there, and if you aren't already, be sure to follow True Chicago at Ben, that's PS underscore Garrett, on Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Nope, 9 p.m. Eastern. Let me restate that. 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, he and the Gang Adventure Tuesday will be playing the first Broken Sword game, which I'm very excited about. I've never seen Broken Sword before, never played it, so uh, yeah, get that follow it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see here. Who do we want to play? Well, isn't it great that uh, 
in future games you won't have to scroll right by Chief Wahoo. At the bay, let's get the Diamondbacks. That's a, whoa, the Diamondbacks were good this year. Go Rangers, yeah? We want Rangers? Alright, let's see here. Texas Rangers. Alright, Cubs versus Rangers. Tonight's it's contest, on. The Texas Rangers host the Chicago Cubs. Oh wait, what were the Pirates stats? They looked pretty bad. Hey, hey, Grayson, kid, you stole you know, my joke. You know, today at the park is Big Grayson. Bone Finger Day. You know? Oh, yeah, I love those things. Yeah, well, I need about four cases of them. How dare four you? Cases How very what? dare you? Well, my turn signal in my car, it doesn't work. What does that have to do? Well, I use them to signal. Huh? Yeah, I'll stick my hand to the left, but then all of a sudden, like a car in the next lane will run into them with, or, the, or the wind blows them off. With the finger off. on? You stick your hand out with the big finger on? Yeah. How, well, how do you steer the, the wheel when you... When you're in the car. Well, that's not easy, but I that's not a safe idea, Jimmy. Well, whatever. If I could get a couple of cases, I'd appreciate well, it. Well, I'd be happy to, but wouldn't it be cheaper to just get the blinker fixed than to put your life at risk? No, cause I it's the warranty's all off. Well how much is it gonna cost to replace a bulb? More than a free foam finger. Yeah, good point. Oh no. I was just getting ready to say we've got real Carlos Mencia in the uh, in the chat. It seems that Grayson has a real mind Hello to see a sort of situation going on with his joke Jimmy How are you, Jimmy? I think Dang Cook did too, right? so close to me. Move your chair over. You stink like old milk or like eggs. <laughs> you stink like old milk or eggs. Yes, yeah, so those two babes are just seeing who's taller. It's very reasonable. Line foul. All right, let's make this happen. Give me a big hit here. We gotta get a win going. We gotta keep the ball on Munchies this plane of existence. Now, two. This guy has got a beautiful swing, but it doesn't mean anything if he can't find the ball. Park, the windup. Did he get enough? He did! A home run! And Patterson gives his team the lead! And the pitcher just shakes his head in disgust. Nothing he can do about that one. Aw, oh, chicks dig a moon burger. Yep, did you see that boy? Oh boy, oh boy. Look at the How short can stuff. Your eyeballs be fast enough to see a pitch going that fast? <laughs> These guys are amazing. They have less than one one thousandth of a second to know whether to swing or not. Literally less than the time it takes to blink an eye. It's How juiced up was uh, Sammy Sosa in 04? Oh, he slapped his ass. Here's Mr. Bellhorn. M. Bellhorn is my favorite Street Fighter boss. Nah, that's not a great joke. Let me take that one back. Grayson, you can have that. Oh, that was a nice pitch. Good pitch, bad swing. A classic game of chess between the pitcher and the hitter. Swing and a miss, strike two. There's a big, big swing and a big, big miss there, Tim. Go, oh, Grayson, that one's all yours. And all he can do is shake his head and mutter to the ump at that one. If we ever shook our heads and muttered to our fathers, we wouldn't sit down for a week. You know what I mean? We'd sleep standing. So, so, dig yeah. in. The good old days of child abuse. Time at me. Well, you're not my father, Tim. Hey, Grayson's salty tonight. What's going on over there, Grayson? Is everything okay? Is this extreme? Now he's not known to be a sinker ball pitcher, but that was a great sinker. You know this guy just got a hair transplant that's up to bat? They grafted the hair from his back up on his head. Park, now the windup. And he is called out. Oh, well, did not do that. There are times, and every hitter goes through this. Where yeah, I feel like Grayson, the extreme the vibe of this game has infected you, and you've just gotten sassy. That sass. Hit sharply over the oh, there we go. That guy, and he won't get this one. Okay. Joy, Double. First. Triple. Joy, second. All right. Getting something going now. And Tubby's Joy got it. Ends up at third with a triple. Oh, it's more see I this is one of my favorite baseball cards back in the day. I never really followed baseball, but I did enjoy baseball cards. And that's a wicked slider. Man, is that tough. Whatever he did there, he should do the opposite next time, and he'd be great. And he blew it right by him. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know. Ain't nobody gonna hit that except maybe Paul Bunyan. Mark. Line five. Ooh. A little bit light. A little bit choppy. We got this. And here's the wind up. And he'll grab some bench with that strikeout. Man, this Ooh. guy's strong. He's getting his whole body behind Ooh. every pitch. He is a monster. After a half inning of play, Chicago okay. leads by one. Pryor winds Let's get up. this in here. Right down the middle. And that was just there. a ridiculous, old-fashioned, filthy, down and dirty, fall off the table, nasty curveball. Okay, Tim. <laughs> okay, Ken. And he looks at the pitch off the plate. He didn't even flinch. He knew it was a ball a second at left. Sharply, but foul. Okay, we gotta get an out here. We gotta get an old fashioned fastball on the outside. And he wasn't fooled by that pitch out of his own. 109 Man, miles per hour. Eye. Really, really good eye. Great eye. Great eye. Sends a blast right field. He makes the grab. Oh, I tried to do a cocky grab. <laughs> Chunky code monkey. It's baseball. It's a ridiculous version of it. Chris Everett, <laughs> former uh, L.A. Rams quarterback, who did Chris Everett play for? High hopper toward the hole. Pryor, yeah, he's up off the bat. Sitting bounce. around the horn. And he is safe at first. NFL Blitz. I didn't know NHL hits existed until earlier today. We'll call that building era, era there. But. Jimmy. Sorry. Hit the wrong cut. <laughs> Is that Alex Rodriguez? Just one out. Men on first and second. Palmero. How do you tell in a, or NHL hits from That's actual hockey? Strike. Uh, he didn't like that one. You know, funny how hitters are so picky, but when it comes to clutch time, I'll tell you, they swing at dirt balls. <laughs> yeah. Sweep those dirt balls. Ball right field. The play at second. Out. And Palmero is on with a single. Get off the field. Runners at the corner. Juan Gonzalez. Look at that batting stance. Bat way up in the air. That's no way to play baseball. Ryan, now the windup. Ah, oh, great pitch. They just parked that one in an old parking zone. <laughs> Line smash, second base. Out at second. That retires the side. At the end of one. Jim Everett, you're right, Sis Princess. There you and go. Following the game on crime scene witness I was so close. An eyewitness so close. tells the story of <laughs> witnessing a witness disappearance in a witness relocation program gone bad. Oh, man. Sure tennis in this you. format. Eric Karras. Karras steps into the batter's box. Pitcher literally on the fire. Bench. Hit in the air to right field. And Glanville reels it in. That's right. It was the Jim Rome bit that I got confused on. Oh, that awful Jim Rome bit. <laughs> Jim Everett like dives over a table at him. Boy, isn't sports talk fun? And he ropes one to short. Mm. And Park pulls it in. Uh oh. B Hills here. He has no bat. What's he going to do? Gets ready. Oh, there it comes. John McEnroe. Pro tennis hit. And he rips one to left. All right. And he ah. pulls it down. No good. Couldn't get anything going that inning, guys. With the bottom of the second coming up, the Cubs <laughs> lead by one. You know me. I'm all about the jock Rock stuff. McCoy, star of the Weather Guy, guest stars in a very special episode of Buddies. You won't want to miss it. It's sure to be action-packed. And here comes the batter. These little upcoming shows are missing jokes. I feel like they should workshop those a little bit. All right. Whoa, man! Perry just almost hit the uh, <laughs> hit the catcher with his bat. That's no good. Get hard on the ground to the hole. 
<laughs> One out, nobody on base. <laughs> <laughs> it, it almost sounds like they're randomly generating shows. Hey, thank you so much, Tom, for the, for the cheer. The air, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Rounds first. Let's see if we can give it third. Second. That's a no. Third, and he beats the throw. Hey. He just dropped the ball. Just one out and a runner at third base. Okay, not great. Not looking good, team. And here comes a runner from third. The Rangers tie it up. <laughs> so oh, that's like the like Andre Moon, sir. I saw that Spider-Man movie, Jimmy. He didn't look like a spider to me, he just looked like a kid going for trick-or-treats. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not good at this game, it turns out. Up on the pitch, like, I just thought zone. I'd be good at it because of my love for baseball. Turns out I'm just bad at this game, though. And he looks at one inside. You know, as a hitting coach, all you can do is hit your players. I mean, hard every day. Hit them. Then they learn how to hit. Yeah, no, this is right. You've seen all of my strategies when we eventually play Super Mega Baseball. He practically injured himself taking a big swing and hitting nothing. What a goof. There's a shot into right center. He could have extra bases. He injured himself with swing big and hitting nothing. Boy, a triple's easy to get in this game, huh? Heads into third with a triple. Make him pay for it, though. Only one out, and they've got a man on third. It's all falling apart again, gang. And now the pitch, and he doesn't take the bait on that one. <laughs> so proud they're fluid like shadows. Throw me another. Good hitters do that. Yeah, I've, I've been that shadow and thing. He wasn't fooled by that pitch out of the zone. Is a uh, uh, emulator Wesley. issue. Let's see if he sits on a fastball right here. Oh no! So princess, she flipped by not great moment. And he crushes that one to right. Hey, there's a Mortal Kombat. This one's gonna be trouble. Outfield time. Go up on top. Rose to second. Safe. <laughs> one out, and they've got a man on second. Okay, team, we need some sort of strategy. Breaks for third. Guns it to third. And, and here comes the runner from third. One run is across. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not again. Not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> not like this. And he came in with the hook. I got a clip so fast, oh no. We need a greatest Fire hits montage of this stream, I think, already. And he runs one over the first baseman. This ball is going to be trouble. Young, rounding first. Rounding second. Go third. And Young pulls up at second with a double. Everett, one for one on the day. Oh, one out, the press. and they've got a man on second. Quite a bruise from that laser. I think he's going to remember that pitcher's name for quite a <laughs> oh, while. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, Chuck. Good, Men on first and second. All right. Holds up on the pitch out of the strike zone. And Got one out. Not fight at that offering. The pitch. And that's lined over the second baseman. And he'll make the play. Out. Oh, hey! Get a shot. Double play, everyone. That's the most exciting play in baseball. And that's two! And so, at the end of two, the Rangers lead by two. Tonight at 10 on Newsbreakers, giant Mexican squirrels. How big are they? Are they crossing the border? And how safe are your children? Hmm. And here's the batter to lead things off. Immigration humor. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if they hadn't stolen home to us. Gonzalez? Oh, it Can't turned out it. all right. That was where they really got me. Line foul. 
Oh, that's a big hit. Oh no. Actually changed the view. Fooled him with that pitch. He swung big on that one, came up with absolutely nothing. You know, this guy has a tendency to stay out late, and he can tell he's tired right now. Patterson, tired. and he is one for one today. He cranked his solo shot last time up. Ooh. Steps in. Okay, need a big hit here. Need a big hit. Swing and a miss, strike one. What was that? Maybe this guy needs to hit off the tee a little bit in practice, Jimmy, to get his stroke back. The manager looks so teed off at that swing, he's gonna have a stroke. <laughs> And he tries some off-speed stuff there. You know, he should watch that swing of his on tape a hundred times again and again and again. He, I think I'm going to if he's clipped. that again. And he got caught looking. He has got a bad case of whifferitis. <laughs> you know, right now would be a good time for a double. Two outs, nobody on base. Okay. Bellhorn, looking for Ooh. a pitch he can drive. Team, we gotta get, pull this together. This is getting out of control. And he laces one over the shortstop. That guy There's the good stuff. on the bounce. Throws to first, and Bellhorn has himself a base hit. Sosa, 0 for 1 thus far. Struck out in his last at bat. Two oh, you're not wrong, NBA bag. He does look like a demonic. <laughs> a demonic Clydesdale. Pitch on the way. Fly ball, center field. And ah. Everett makes the grab, and that ends the top half of the inning. Come on, Sosa. What's the two point of all those anabolic the steroids Rangers. if they're not going to do anything? Tonight on Newsbreakers following the game, the city pothole scandal grows bigger. The cover-up surrounding funds that were supposed to cover up potholes have disappeared. Uh, allegedly. Day, you'll be shocked to find out what we found out in this shocking report. Palmero, there's down the pitcher. Anabolic steroids, allegedly. <laughs> Just on the record there. Good eye there on the pitch outside. I know Sammy Sosa watches sometimes. I think that's sometimes. what a pitcher wanted that one. See if <laughs> it comes Nard. back inside here. Can't beat a good PS2 game, right? And this guy is quite oh, good. Sammy Sosa's there. Is that his real arm? It looks kind of fake. Remember that six million dollar man? He had fake arms, one fake leg. <laughs> Is that his real arm? It looks kind of fake. Delivers. Man, I'd love to eat kettle corn with Sammy Sosa. Looks photoshopped. Just one more thing about his arm. And he can't pull the trigger for Caught him looking. <laughs> I completely emasculated him with that strikeout. One out. Bases are empty. By the way, there's a link to our Discord up there. Please join us if you haven't already. It's a great place to hang out with other gamers. First strike out at Kitty. Got under that one to right center. Fields it off the bounce. Fires to first. Hey, did you see me do my little rolly move? That was something. Come on. Good squad. One out. Man on first. Matthew Perry coming up to the bat. Are the hit series goon. And he looks at the pitch off the plate. Their hitting coach gives these guys a buck for every ball they take. That's good incentive to draw the walk. <laughs> why, uh, why is good there a baseball the adventure game? He looked like a Roman statue just standing there. Pryor winds up. He swung right through that one. He needs There's to my move. Swing at the fences and shorten his stroke up a little, Jimmy. Oh, what does this game need, Nick? <laughs> I, need, I need to know. <laughs> Someone better playing it would be one option. And here's the windup. And he swung right through that one, Jimmy. Yeah, Tim, like, they kids grab pigeons, you know? They run up to them and they, they can't grab them. They're just spastic. Releases. That's not a word we use. This ball is crushed. A home run. His team a four-run lead. That was really launched. Now this oh, guy man. knew what kind of pitch he wanted—a home run pitch—and he got it. He 
put a punishing hit on that ball. Man, oh man, that's going to hit a satellite in space. Hope he doesn't do the uh, butt slap. I don't know if I'm okay with this. Don't do the butt slap. I can't handle it. Okay, there's no butt slap. We did it. Nobody on base. Ooh, text-based sports adventure. You know I'm there. Okay. Game's falling apart again, even here in the easiest mode. Line shot over the first baseman's head. Tried to talk to catch that. And that guy has a double. One out. And got that a guy has a double. Some nice commentary work there. Diaz digs in. Okay, squad. We gotta start winning here. What's it gonna take? You gotta be able to draw the walk once in a while and keep the pitcher honest. Ah, oh, great There we go. Well, I've got level to miss, Tim. Jimmy, that Ow. looks good, that pie. I couldn't agree with you more, though. <laughs> the commentary right. is very Lines good. Oh. Hey, the <laughs> pie. He's off that pitch out of the strike zone. Oh. And he wasn't fooled by that pitch out of the zone. Okay. Oh, and he wouldn't bite on that offering. You know, that may have been a little bit out of the zone, but not much. And Choi pulls it down. And Oof. he is safe at second. And he popped that ball loose. He just dropped the ball. The throw to third. And he dropped the ball. And what? Guy, heading for home. The play at home. And that guy scores to widen the lead. <laughs> one for one this game. Doubling for a in his last try. Looking for a good pitch. <laughs> That's not baseball. I don't know if they studied the rules of this game very well. Sends a blast right center. Feels this one on the bounce. Fucking baseball with hockey. Has a single. Two outs and they've got a man on I think tags aren't automatic. Yeah, I think I actually have to like hit Young. the button. I don't know which button that is. Probably X? <laughs> I don't know. Hit hard into left field. Oh, Rounding second. Just go ahead. Just go on home. Round Fine. Four. One run is across. And Young is on second with a double. Back here. We're <laughs> chasing back to the dugout. Okay. Theme. It's time to get serious. I've got to I get this game back Fires. under control. Sends a blast. Left field. This one could be extra bases. Yeah, could be. The Rangers are having their way right now. They and really are having their way, huh? Second with a double. Rodriguez, nothing doing today. Fly it out his last at bat. There are two outs. Runner on second. Hit hard left side. The throw to first in time. And he could have made that one, Jimmy. I don't know, Tim. He was running pretty hard. Just take that, Alex Rodriguez. Nice job, A Rod. Texas. Okay. We get a big hit here. This is it. We're back in the game and right now. The sinker is really a tough ball to hit, Jimmy. Way swung at that. I'll tell you, you look like my grandson's video game. <laughs> oh, the changeup for the strike. He was guessing fastball or curve or something else. Fastball or curve or something else. Goes down swinging. That's not good, no. He just didn't give it his all there. One out. Okay. Bases are empty. Let's see how lose. Let's get this. I get a big hit here. And he can't find where that changeup is. <laughs> I cannot. He's been after this guy to shorten his swing, and he ought to listen. And he doesn't take the bait on the pitch away. You know what that was. Control there as he lays off a pitch out of the zone. You got a lot more see lose. Uh oh. And that was just an embarrassing swing right there. Uh, let that be a lesson to you youngsters. Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> just hacking away now. And he rolls one over the shortstop. And that guy. That's not the catch. shortstop. 
1,000 percent not the short stop. Two out, nobody on base. Okay. Delivers. And that ball is not coming back. A home run. Man, oh man. And Caros narrows the deficit. You know, there's no more beautiful sight in baseball than seeing that ball sail out of the park. And that was a big, fat daddy. And the pitcher's really got to be getting down on himself right now. It, it actually wasn't a bad pitch. The worst pitch you can throw is a home run pitch, so I'm going to disagree. That was a bad pitch. That's a bad pitch. Big, fat daddy coming in for a big point as they call them here in baseball. Uh, a home run point. Let's see P. Baco. What do you got? Nobody on base. Drives that one to center field. Oh, here we go. Fields From the turbo. Box. The play at first. And Baco is on first with a single. All right. And so there are two outs and a runner at first base. Can I steal? Is the question we're about to find out. Great time to try steal, I feel like. Takes off. The play in second. And he is tagged out. Oh, no. Oh, no. And so in the middle of the fourth, Texas. <laughs> hey, Paul, my bad. Welcome to the, to the horrible stream. <laughs> oh, the worst pitch you can throw is a home run pitch, John Madden. That is very Madden esque. Um, oh gosh, what have I been listening to? Let me grab my phone here and take a look and see what my last played song was in Spotify. This is one of our new channel redemption rewards where people can get a peek inside my bad musical taste. Oh, okay, this is this is perfect. Uh, it appears that I listened to just yesterday the entirety of the Smashing Pumpkins' Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. That's right. I started on track one of that double album and, and made my way all the way through it um, in a celebration of angsty 90s rock. So that's that's what I've been listening to. <laughs> I love Smashing Pumpkins. One of my Coming favorite bands of all time. Very special episode of My Old Man's a Dork. Palmero gets ready. Roberto Palmero. Okay. We need to pull this together, it feels like. I don't think the game is really, really working out for us. Picks it up off the bounce. Guns it to first, and he is safe at first base. No out to the man on. Okay, Juan Gonzalez. Here comes a curveball. Do with it what you swing will. Swing and a miss. 0 1 the count. And he looked awfully stiff on that swing. You know, Jimmy, his neck has been giving him problems ever since he did that cartwheel the other night circling the bases. Yeah, he's a baseball player, not a gymnast. <laughs> Sends a blast left center. Palmero rounding second. And Gonzalez has himself a base hit. Isn't this the best game ever? This is a great question. Perry, one for two thus far. A two-run home run is last time up. <laughs> I'm going to say maybe not. I think it's a Hit hard right side. good game in its the own strange way. The is in, and Perry reaches base safely. No outs, and they've got uh -oh. Billy Corgan on a roller coaster? I don't know this. And Pryor. Just one out. And they've got men on He's base. He's getting theory going forever. Is this is the base, best baseball game. No, I've already established that Super Baseball 2020 is the best baseball game. third. Safe. And Diaz is on with a single. Blanville. Uh-oh. Boy, their whole team really is on fire, aren't they? All right. Could we see a grand slam here, team? There's a drive way back. Going, going. It is a grand slam. Holy cow. And Glanville puts his team up a bunch. He really annihilated that ball. That ball should not have been a homer. They got some funny wins in this park. He waited for his pitch, and he knew exactly what to do with it. There's no way that ball is a homer in any other park. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we took down the difficulty to its lowest level. <laughs> oh my gosh. This isn't the lowest difficulty level. This is like what you would give, you know, if you got your seven-year-old child a copy of this game for their birthday. The you would show you them how to navigate the menus since they can't read very well. Kind of like having five and pull it down to this fingers. difficulty level. Ah, oh, man, blessing. You know, if I had popsicle sticks for fingers, I'd have one bright cherry root beer, orange, and my thumb would be a fudge stick. <laughs> I got that popsicle <laughs> sticks for fingers. Not <laughs> You know, all have to be thinking. Get on base. What's even happening? Yeah, oh my gosh. Looking for a pitch you can drive. If, if you just joined us, welcome to this fever game. <laughs> fever dream of a game, not fever game of a dream. <laughs> it's me, MLB legend, Decap Jedi, down 11 runs in the fourth inning of MLB Slugfest 2004. It's a dark day for baseball. And he holds up on the pitching yeah. close. Honestly, it was like nice to lay off on that one. This is almost unpatriotic for me to be doing this to the national pastime. Prior, now the windup. Swings and misses on the slider. Oh, heavens to Betsy, did he have a cut? Come on, pitch. Oh, Come on, pitcher. You're better than that. What was that little sad dive? Oh, I just found a new button. Bad news. Rodriguez steps in. Got into that one to left field. Oh, someone from your hometown got a Olympic bronze in BMX. I probably know them. There are two outs, but they do have runners on base. I didn't know A-Rod played for the Rangers either. I was just kind of like rolling with it. Since this will shock you to find out, but I don't know a lot about baseball. Young, now rounding third. One run is in. And Palmero has himself a single. Oh, he was on the Rangers before the Yankees. And so there are two outs, men on first and third. Oh, Declan Brooks. Oh, yeah. I actually taught Declan Brooks how to, uh, how to ride a BMX, which is what we call our bikes. As we go to the fifth inning. Texas is really rubbing their faces in it. And here comes the batter to lead things off this inning. Bobby Hill. Bobby Hill, they say? Mark, the windup. Hit hard into center field. And Everett reels it in. Directly into their baseball mitts. Gonzalez, 0 for 1 to this point. Nothing much lasted bad. He struck out swinging. <laughs> Boy, ain't right. You're absolutely right. The pitch. He just powered that ball in there. How do you catch up to that? You, you don't. That's how. <laughs> oh, this is like the cruelest rubber band. I think you're right, Ben. Like, it's letting me get hit, but Good all the wrong you ones. Ain't gonna hit that. I always wonder if I'm just swinging wrong. Like, is it me? Am I hitting pop ups because way. I'm. And he goes down swinging. Two outs, nobody on base. The dark soul of baseball games. It could be. Get a Darth Vader helmet on for a rally cap. Oh, hey! I got all of that. Keep going, keep going. Run to second base. Run to third base, maybe. Oh, no. He is safe. Oh, this looks like on hardest difficulty. Outs, Who's even say? I do need to learn how to do those ridiculous dives. <laughs> Someone look up the game pack for me. All right. Got a runner in scoring position now, baby. Delivers. That was some serious heat. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was a fast ball. How fast does a ball have to be to be a fast ball, though? <laughs> this is actually a very good question. Releases, and he missed all that one. Looks is like this the intent really that makes the fastball. You got that right, Tim. He definitely should have taken a better look. Still so how hard can be? Not hard. Like a fish hook. Who's the expert around here, Tim? Throws to first. That's gonna do it. The Rangers get the win after a hard-fought battle. Yeah. Uh, 
We we gotta gang them all. 120, Jimmy. Oh man, you got I can't be here. My wife and I, it's our anniversary. Oh well. We're going to London. Yeah, I said it at five innings as a mercy killing. Oh goodness. Should we check out the home run derby mode? I haven't been in there yet. You know I'm going to hit lots of home runs as well as I've been playing. Oh man, look how sad the Chicago Cubs lady is. By that token, look at how happy the Texas Rangers lady is. So, a little bit of everything. You know, you win some, you lose some. Oh, what a war rematch. Home run derby, trademark. Does MLB have home run derby, trademark? Slugger select. Who's the best slug boy in the league? Who is doing the most steroids around this time? I guess is our question. Because that's who I want to be. Matt Piazza. Oh man. Fred McGriff. J. Jones, C. Jones, and A. Jones? Oh, is that Chipper Jones? Those were the days. I missed that song by Bell and Sebastian about Matt Piazza. Vicky Guerrero. Who else do we have? Jason Giambi. Oh, man. This is a very bomb. Oh, that's who's doing the most steroids. We're going to be very bomb. There we go. Who do we want to go up against? <laughs> I mean, the only fair match is Barry Bonds against himself. It's man versus nature, man versus... Uh, Man versus animal, and man versus himself. So. Was Mark McGuire in there? I missed him. Was he in there? No, McGuire not in the game. Oh well, we're going to go back to our original plan of, of dueling Barry Bonds' <laughs> it's a great story, Sid Princess. All right, stadium select. We're going to stick it regularly. Okay, here we go. Here comes the home run derby. Oh, these ladies like the home run derby. Bonds on bonds. He gets PF 30 for 30. Hmm. Batting power is important. Put on your jacket because it's jack time. What does that mean? What, are, what do you mean when you say put on your jacket? Well, the Rangers play at Texas State. It's jack in the box time, Jimmy. These guys brought the big lumber with them. I was down there in batting practice. I couldn't even pick up Sosa's bat. Maybe there's a cheat code so you can play as the ladies. That's the question we need to know. Yeah, I feel like the graphics in this are pretty decent. Barry Bonds doing. Okay. Is that a mascot pitching? A big fan there. Boy, he wanted that one. That was a. Big hey, that is a shot. mascot pitching. And he gets a hold of it. Foul down the left field line. Out number two. Jeff Bench foul. To the exact same place. Out in a row. Big whiff there. And that is out number four. You have to get a home run in the big home run derbs. You get the dubs and the derbs. It's a big chunk out of that one. It's there we go. And he broke the ice there and gets his first home run. Again, the hit goes foul, and that's another one down the drain. And he cranks that one, and it is gone. And Ooh, that's 415 footer. And there's another out. Yeah, I really like the edgy Toronto Blue Slicing Jays. Foul down the left field line. And it's out number seven, folks. And he comes up short again. He tags that one. A minor setback. He's still warming hmm. up. Oh, wow. That's actually a code to get the uh, ladies as your players. And he smoked that 
one. I don't think I'll be able to execute that. And Bonds gets number three. That was a beautiful okay. thing, that, Tim. Yeah, he really connected on that one, Jimmy. That ball got out of here in a hurry. Bonds, he's the last batter. Uh, Team Todd McFarlane. If someone hit you that hard. You got that right. Team Todd McFarlane. Are they all Todd McFarlane? Or are they uh, Todd McFarlane characters? Do two rats. Takes on first Team Todd McFarlane. Okay, we now we have to figure this out. <laughs> all right. I want to see what Team Todd McFarlane is. So, I go 2-2 two, two, right. What's 2 in this case? I think we just lost the home run derby, so that's how it goes. Barry Bonds lost to Barry Bonds. So, really, we're all winners. Oh, wait. I have to do all that stuff? So, I have to do, wait. 1-2 left. So, wait here. So, triangle... Triangle, triangle, right, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what Team Todd McFarlane, based on popular <laughs> Spider-Man and, and Spawn Penciler. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so two, 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 right. Two, 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 right. This game, the Oakland A's will host the New York Yankees. No clue how to hear that. Oh no. Now we're in this game. Oof. Okay, I have no clue how to enter the codes, everyone. So, press square. Huh. Once again, everyone, Tim Kitcho, along with my pal Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy, good day. Oh, wait, okay, to so it's yeah, gonna be 2 2 2 2 2, two, two right. Okay, now I think I have it. <laughs> okay, now we got this. We can do this. We're going to get this crazy code in here 2 2 2 2 2 2 right. Okay. Quick play. Can't wait to see this. What Team Todd McFarlane looks like. Let's go! contest the Oakland A's will host the New York Yankees it's team Todd McFarlane what's this gonna mean yeah no I'm not perfect keep it right there hey Jimmy did you uh did you take a bite out of all these donuts here yeah so, you know what I I did because I don't why? like jelly donuts and I was looking for yeah. the ones with custard so why did you why did you have to take a bite out of each one why don't you either ask me or you know, well, you because just... I didn't want to touch them. Well, if I touch the donuts, then you could get sick because germs are on your hands. Oh, why can't you just look at the side and see if it has jelly coming out or custard? Usually the ones with jelly are jelly donuts. Because I don't want to touch why not? the donuts. Why don't... I don't want to spread germs. My and, and so, hands are filthy. And biting them is better than touching them? Yeah. Why? Because your mouth doesn't fester germs. Your hands do. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, okay. all right. Thanks, well, doctor. Next time I'll all right. Give you, you know a, what? A flu. You know what? Thank you very much. Just, just leave him alone, please, Jimmy. Oh no. I hope I don't get banned for COVID misinformation because of that commentary. Oh no. Press that button to end commentary. Oh, Hello that's again, bad. Everybody. Tim Kitcher with you, along with one of baseball's living treasures, Jimmy Shorts. You know, Tim, man. I read in the papers today. You and I might be getting fired for what we said yesterday. Well, Jimmy, as my dad always used to say, if you want to walk on water first, you got to get out of the boat. And here's the batter to lead things off. So what made me team Todd McFarlane? I just look like regular old New York Yankees. Makes it team Todd McFarlane. What did the code do? So it turned me into Midway, I guess. That was a perfect changeup, Jimmy. That's how you keep the hitters off balance. He doesn't seem to be the same guy we saw last week. He's like an imposter of himself. And he missed all that one. Looks like this pitcher's really got him on the hook now. You What's got that right, problem? Tim. He definitely should have taken a better look. Actually, Jimmy, I said it hooked it like a fish hook. Who's the expert around here, Tim? This pitcher is one tough cookie. His arm is very explosive. Oh, it's Derek Jeter. Bases are empty. Well, his arm sure explodes like a cannon. 
and I bet he has some good arm insurance on that thing. <laughs> good arm insurance. Sends up a drive, and that ball goes go. off. There's a drive, well hit to right field. Just slicing foul. Getting all of it here. The pitch, and that's line foul. Maybe it's not Team McFarlane because the text went away. Maybe you have to select it once you enter the code. I thought that's what hitting right would do. Was there a step I left out? So let's see. Yeah, I think you lock it in with hitting right, which I did. Is that on the D-pad? Yeah, the D-pad. Huh. Maybe it doesn't do anything. It yeah, who knows? Couldn't make up with mine, and, and that's what you get. Line foul. Hmm. Fires, and he'll grab some bench with that strikeout. They should make those practice bats like 70 pounds. By the time they get to the plate, they could hit anything. Two outs, nobody on base. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we need to try one of these stadiums since I don't see what Team Todd McFarland's doing for me. I think we'll be able to tell if we're playing in Atlantis. That's my new goal. So three, three, two, two, one, left. Okay, let's see if we can go to Atlantis, everybody. Now I'm really curious. All right. The St. Louis Cardinals will go up against the Boston Red Sox. Okay, I got it in there. Let's see. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Hey, you don't look so good today. What's what's the matter with your eyes? They look all puffy. You know, I slept with my window open last night, and oh. my neighbor's cat might have come into the house, or yeah. we got raccoons out in the woods. More like I think did. it was my neighbor's cat, because I woke up and my face was all scratched. I mean, spiders and, can do that too, Jimmy. And I'm allergic to cats, so now my whole head and face, cheeks, forehead yeah. are all swollen up. Well, you should put some turpentine on that. that that'll soothe it. That's what my dad used to do. Turpentine. Yeah. You it, ever? You might want to ask somebody about counseling, Tim. Turpentine, that hurt. Yeah, all the medics used it in the war. <laughs> hey, Fritzky. Hi, everybody. Tim Kitzer here with you along with my partner, Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy, it should be a good one, huh? Yeah, well, yesterday's game stunk. Hey, how come you got the good headsets again? Jimmy, the pitcher has finished his warm-up tosses. Now it's time to play ball. Dude, yeah, well, here we are in Atlanta. Shock. I'm getting shocked every time I talk. Johnny Damon. Damon <laughs> steps into the batter's box. <laughs> in ankle deep water. This is great. You ever get Zach plugging in a dryer in a bathtub? Man, that's what that's got to feel like. That hurts. It does kind of look like that's Cthulhu out in the outfield, doesn't it? Okay. Pitch on the way. It's sharply, but foul. Swing and a miss, strike two. He was oh. caught in no man's land there, you know, kind of half committing to the swing. The move to first, and he's back safely. That's what you get for trying to pick me off. Line foul. This guy throws so hard, you gotta swing before you see the ball. It's the only way you're gonna hit it. Sends up a drive to hey. Oh, there we go. Good Guns job. Guns second, and he is out. One out. Cool water One table, on Macarena. No ma. Like that one SNL sketch. That one by much. You remember where they say but no ma? The Everybody loves that sketch, right? And that's lined over the first baseman. No hurry. No, no need to run the bases, Walker, guys. Just do your thing. All Rose right. I played well in Atlantis, safely. apparently. Just one out. Men on second and third. Okay, Manny Ramirez up to the bat. Throw to third. Runners in scoring position. 
and we make it come together. And that looked like a highlight from the Dodgeball Olympics, and down he goes. It looked like a highlight from the Dodgeball Olympics. Only one out, and the bases are loaded. Hmm. Interesting choice. I don't know if I would have uh, <laughs> been somebody. This could be my moment, everyone. Load up. The pick off to third, and he's safe. This game is aggressively midway. I'm guessing the Scorpion team is going to be all Scorpion from... The pit. And that one just careened off his helmet. Yikes. And that could not have felt good. I'd be surprised if he could even walk straight after that. Only one out and the bases are loaded. <laughs> Dylan Brand stands in. <laughs> what is happening? And that's line foul. Okay, this is a big, big hero moment. Gets under it, right field. Drew plays it off the bounce. And Hillenbrand is on first with a single. Who's the home team here in uh, Atlantis? Just one out and the bases are jammed. Nixon steps in. <laughs> I am Boston. <laughs> I'm absolutely Boston. I'm batting right now and having a weirdly good inning. Well, swing and a miss and not a great swing there. Maybe this guy shouldn't be swinging for uh -oh. offenses. It happened. He missed the ball point. back. Second baseman ran back to get it. Line foul. And he runs one over the third baseman. All right. Baseman. Go, go, go. Run the bases. Fast, fast, fast. One run is in. Gianni heading for home. The throw to third. Uh oh Two runs are in. Turn the double play. Man, I'd like to see more triple plays. They should work on that more. That wasn't a bad double play. <laughs> After one half inning of play, Boston <laughs> leads by four. And tonight, following the game on crime scene witness stories, an eyewitness tells the story of witnessing a witness disappearance in a witness relocation program gone bad. It's sure to excite you. And he looks at one. Okay, I feel like we need to add in another code here. Let's get back out of here. What code looks good? Always press. I woke up this morning and chose to press the violence button. Hey, part of me wants to see Scorpion team. One, three, two, down. One, th let's try one, three, two, down. Let's see what Scorpion code is. One, three, two, down. afternoon's game, the Arizona Diamondbacks take on the oh. Chicago White Sox. Backstage Radio Clown. Oh, well. Hey, Jimmy, saw a wonderful movie last night, a classic To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, you saw it? Well, actually, I, I, I slept through most of it. Uh, I, I missed the whole part with the Mockingbird, uh, but it was a very, very scary movie. I, I didn't see the end, so don't tell me how it ends if you've seen it. Well, they kill a mockingbird. That's uh, how it ends. Oh, they kill it? Well, it's called kill to kill a mockingbird. Well, is it, it was it like the birds uh, that uh, Alfred Hitchcock thing? Was it attacking people? Because I, I never even saw the mockingbird in the beginning part. Did, or no. was that just in the end? No, Tim. How do you drive to the park by yourself? It's a simple question, Jimmy. W man, oh man, you. I never saw serious. a bird in the movie. Well, okay, Tim, and you can call a game. Man, oh man. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone. Tim Kitcher along with my good friend Jimmy Shorts. How are you, Jimmy? Tim, you're sitting so close to me. Move your chair over. You stink like old milk or like eggs. How's that, all right? Nah, they still stink. Well, anyway, it's time oh, to play no. ball. And so the leadoff hitter steps up to the plate. Harris digs in. Big unit up on the mound. Swinging for the fences, but came up empty. You know, he ought to just keep swinging harder and harder. Just swing as hard as he can. That didn't intimidate the pitcher, Tim. <laughs> we enabled Juggalo mode. And he didn't miss that one by much. He's in the hole now. Oh, Tiny Juggalo. He goes for the homer again, and he finds nothing. 
I was at my strike zone. Man, oh man, oh man, I'll tell you, the pitcher has it going on. One out, bases are empty. Stands in. Now, he's not known to be a sinker ball pitcher, but that was a great sinker. You know, when a player begins to struggle, they ought to just forget everything they ever learned and go back to what got them there in the first place. But then again, they could just quit and save us all from pulling our hair out. Maybe I should quit. Maybe I should quit drinking so much coffee, man. <laughs> My bat did look too small, didn't it? Two outs, nobody on base. Ordonez stares down the pitcher. <laughs> this is a baseball game. He really fooled him on that pitch. He really looked helpless. Okay, there. I have to Boy, see the scorpion team. Right pitch. And he was okay. It's scorpion team. <laughs> we gotta do this. I don't know how much longer I can play this bad game, but okay. One one two down is scorpion team. Okay. What team is spiritually closest to the ninja scorpion from Mortal Kombat? Are pirates the closest thing to a scorpion? Are maybe are devil rays? I guess diamondbacks are the closest thing to a scorpion, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be it's going to be diamondbacks. It's either it's either manta rays or snakes. Story time with Jess. Oh my god. Stop. Oh, do I have any other good uh, good baseball stories? Okay, here we go. Um, my senior uh, my senior league team, the uh, the Braves that I played on, uh, never a terribly good team. And one of the reasons that we uh, we never performed well at senior league was I went to school with a guy who went on to be uh, a, a triple A minor league pitcher and from the time he was like eight years old he could throw an 85 mile per hour fastball he was just just a monster and as a result any game he pitched in my entire childhood little league all the way through senior league he just struck out the entire team everybody was scared to death of him you throw an 85 mile per hour fastball at an eight year old and they kind of get spooked a little bit um and then my final year of playing senior league our coach halfway through the season just uh just bugged out like he's quit showing up for practices quit showing up for games we had no coach so my dad stepped in uh to coach our team sort of the last minute out of desperation um and one of his first games was against that you know minor league prospect pitcher who was just striking us out left and right there was no chance we were going to win he hadn't lost a game all season he was pitching perfect games left and right and my dad decided for nine innings of, uh, of baseball, he was going to send every batter to the plate uh, with instructions to bunt. And for an entire game, our team simply bunted and eventually got some runners in scoring positions and flustered the, uh, the opposing pitcher enough that we managed to hand that player his only loss of that year. Strictly through a game of nine innings of every batter going to the plate and simply attempting to make any physical contact rather than whipping by uh, the uh, the actual pitches. So <laughs> there's a story of the one time my dad coached us to a uh, victory. Okay, 1-1 one, one down. That's Scorpion. Completely spoiling the whole spirit of, of the sport in the crowd. Today's game. The Houston Astros will take on a okay, Scorpion team and Abel. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Hey, what's with the pink socks? They're not pink. I wonder what she was in the middle of saying in this photo pink. with they're her mouth pink. open well, like they're, that. They're a dull pink. I, I adult was doing, pink? Yeah, I was doing laundry last night. I put whites in with reds, yeah. and my, my uh, socks are pink. So I'll go home tonight and take a marker, a what? red marker, and put them back to the original color. I think you look like a, a Fredericks of Hollywood model, Jimmy. You should take those off. What do you care if I wear pink socks? I don't care. Yeah, well then, why'd you bring it up? 
the press X button to mercifully end commentary. Okay. Hello again, everybody. Tim Kitcher with what you is along Scorpion with one of Ting. baseball's living treasures, Jimmy Shorts. You know, Tim, man, I read in the papers today. You and I might be getting fired for what we said yesterday. Well, Jimmy, as my dad always used to say, if you want to walk on water first, you got to get out of the boat. And the leadoff hitter heads to the plate to start the game. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Scorpion from, from Mortal Kombat with a sword. <laughs> if you're just not tuning in. Oh, it's he Scorpion. Made a good pitch there, Jimmy. I talked to him before the game. I he has two him, swords you know, he on his back and one in his hand. <laughs> Fires? I don't know what you would call that, but the hitting coach is going to find the right words to skulls for thigh pads. It clinked <laughs> instead of making a baseball well, make that sound. For second. It clinked. The throw to second, yes. and he beats the throw. <laughs> oh man, what if his punches are stronger? Oh look, who's up at the bat? It's Scorpion. Scorpion with the plate. Spy me, looking for a good pitch. <laughs> Reynolds winds up. Hit in the air to right Pretty field. good with the sword, though. Just slicing foul. Yeah, this is the most extreme scorpion I've ever seen. Sends up a drive left field. And he puts it away. Throws to second. So muscular. Yeah, he's pretty ripped here. No, oh, Todd McFarlane team just normal. Maybe they just didn't like Todd McFarlane. Okay. Get our sword ready. Oh, what a, what a hit. He can't come up with it. Hey, thank you, Yank the Doodle, for falling in the middle of this insane stream. Scores to put his team ahead. <laughs> Reaches third base safely. Only Welcome to the squad. We're playing baseball with Scorpion. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. As one does. Couldn't hold up. Now he's in the hole 0 1. Now, you know, Jimmy, this guy was born with just one nostril. Says he has a heightened sense of smell, though. He can actually smell a fastball. I wonder what a whiff smells like. Hit hard, second base. And Biggio makes the catch. All right. No, yeah, he did off, register the team as midway. <laughs> he just juiced and stunned in the sand with his sword. Mm. It's sharply, but foul. The playing sound is so good. Kudos to them. The pitch. Fly ball, foul territory. Line foul. Well. I thought next step. Yeah, no, McFarlane is a huge baseball guy. And that'll do it for this half inning. I bet this is the Astro Den. Well, it's not Dylan, is it? Or is it? Okay. What other great code do we want to try here? I think we got a sense of what the Scorpion code was. What was our most ridiculous code remaining? Yeah, I remember when Todd McFarlane bought Mark McGuire's uh, big home run ball. I was a huge comics guy growing up. Um, and uh, was way in when Todd McFarlane and... Rob Liefeld and everyone else left for Image and bought all of those horrible comic books along the way. Let's see, Pinto Team, Horse Team. Hmm, Whipple Bat, Ice Bat, Blade Bat, Bone Bat. Okay, I'm kind of wanting to see a Horse Team now though. The Horse Team is 212 right. Let's see a Horse Team. Everybody, let's just take a quick look at a Horse Team. No, I don't want that. Oh, no. No, not that. I just hit the button. Ugh. No. You know, last night I was riding my bicycle. That thing still works? Yes, it does, and I'm getting good exercise. I'll tell you what, go ahead and make fun of me. <laughs> You're the one that needs a bike ride. And I'm riding, and I'm... 
all of a sudden my mouth is open and a big bug flew right oh. in, right into my mouth, that. down my throat, and it's yeah. still in my throat. Ooh. It's still, well, what do you do? I know, I, I can feel its well, you wings. Know what? Uh, my mom used to do when that would happen. She would give us a cup of canola oil, you gargle with it, bend upside down, and the, the john slides out like it's on a water slide. Boom, right into the bowl. What kind of oil? <laughs> canola. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I want to select a different team since I didn't get my code in there. I was so disappointed Hello. for choosing uh, choosing the Cleveland Guardians that uh, I for, uh, forgot to enter a code. You get horse team. Two, 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 one, one, right. Okay. Let's try this again. Take closer to All right. We can get the Angie Blue Jays again. Okay, two, 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 one, one. The Toronto Blue Jays will go up against the Boston what? Red Sox. We're Steve. We did it. And like many unique hitting tools. <laughs> Find the hidden codes. What were they thinking? I mean, it is rough, right? I've never seen that. It really only lasts one season. Slugfest Baseball is on the air. Hi, everyone. Tim Kipser along with Jimmy Shorts. Jimmy, this should be a good one. I'm better than yesterday. With that hailstorm coming through yesterday, the stadium was damaged. Fans, birds falling out of the sky. Well, you're right about that, Jimmy. Frightening. And the leadoff hitter heads to the plate. And this game is underway. I feel, like, I feel like this is going to appeal to a whole new audience Delicious. now. I like it. And he couldn't lay off of that one. You know, his problems are 100% mental and physical He's holding back these little hooves. Right now. And he gets under it, and that'll go foul. No, this is perfect. This is, uh, this is everything baseball should be. Releases. Hit hard right side. Demon rounds first. Easy double. <laughs> you know, he really galloped around the bases. Now, with a double. No outs, <laughs> <for a second. laughs> Walker. There's his ready. horse coming up, guys. His horse wants to play baseball. Hit in the air, but oh, that horse got all of that one. I mean, a lot of players probably were, like, taking horse steroids at this time, so it makes sense. Couldn't hold up, now he's in the hole 0 and 2. You know, when a player begins to struggle, they ought to just forget everything they ever learned and go back to what got them there in the first place. But then again, they can just quit and save us all from pulling our hair out. Maybe I should quit. Maybe oh. I should quit drinking so much coffee, man. That works by a fool of himself. No Runner at second. Number five. Guys, no more. He's a horse. <laughs> The pitch. Uh, just right. a terrific pitch there. And then I don't have zero out movement on it. Pitch on the way. Good swing there. Just did miss it. You know, he should watch that swing of his on tape a hundred times again and again and again. He, he'd never do that again. You can kiss this one goodbye. It's gone. And Garcia Parra puts his team ahead by two. If you blinked, <laughs> you might have missed that one and get out in a hurry. That's the kind of pitch a hitter dreams of before. When they see it, they usually win. If not for the win, that ball would still be traveling. <laughs> if that's not a home run, I don't know that was awesome, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nobody on base. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> She's there for Yeah. Okay. Fooled him with that pitch. He might have turned that one up a notch. Good pitch. Okay. Well, what else is there? What's next? And that ball's lined to Oh, first. yeah. Turns out horse baseball is really good baseball. Ramirez heading for second. Guns it to first. Safe. 
Justin. No outs and a man on. Jeremy Look at him. Giambi. He's inspecting his bat. He just bit it with his horse teeth. This is the weirdest stream. It's up there. Dirts, the wind up. Drives wrong foul. I will say it's delivering on my end. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting exactly what I wanted out of this. And now the pitch. Giambi takes a strike. They count his own two. Look like Still zero out. The headlights there. A deer that's already been hit a few times. Line smash into left field. And he's going to have to hurry to get to this one. Ramirez rounding uh -oh. second. He is out of there. And Giambi is on second. Doing fourth punching people. Get over here. A base hit here will make his teammates so happy. One out, and they've got a man on second. He rubbed some dirt on his hooves. Hillenbrand steps in. He has more shoes. Sturts, the windup. It might be. It could be. It is a home run. And Hillenbrand. And that's got to shake a pitcher's confidence, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Put a horse hits a home run on you, does. exactly does. what to do with that mistake. Parked it somewhere on the parking lot. I bet he hit a car. How can your eyeballs be fast enough to see a pitch going that fast? These guys are amazing. They have less than one one thousandth of a second to know whether to swing or not. Literally less than the time it takes to blink an eye. <laughs> what is this horse doing? He shouldn't be playing baseball. He's a horse. Bases are empty. Nixon, horses don't belong here. Drive. So we tell that horse. This Red Sox horse. Releases. Swing and a miss. Strike one. His problem there was he had no idea what he's doing. The horse says it. Now he can't play baseball. This is a really good point. Oh, fold him on that one. You know, often a hitch in your swing, Jimmy, can be traced to dehydration as a result of too much bacon in your diet. Maybe you ought to give tofu a try. Now the windup. Hit on the line toward third. Yeah, that's dumpster sludge tofu. That is terrible. And Nixon has a double. If they ran bases on all fours, this would have been well, like... A home run would be so this would occupy right like now. the space Super Mario Brothers does in gaming culture right now. People would just be like, oh, Steps in. like, defining video game of the entire medium. It would be MLB Slugfest 2004. He big on that one, came up with absolutely nothing. The Quest of Sapiens do have a right to play. This is true. The pitch. Hard ground ball, left side. The play at first. He got him. Guns it to second. Oh, man. Are there any codes that are going to be as good as this? Brown stands in. Oh, he drew a line in the sand. Hit in the air to center field. And Wells puts it away to retire the side. Hey, guys. Here in just a second, there's going to be a horse pitching. There's going to be a horse on the mound. Boston Let's get ready. Prepare yourself mentally. Western week at WBNT. Stay tuned after the game for the network premiere of Big Rough Saddle Riders. It's an action-packed ride. I grab saddle riders. And here comes the batter to the plate to lead off the inning. Oh, he's doing the thing. Hey, hey, Ben, welcome back. We're horses now. We're all just horses. <laughs> this guy's string now. Yeah, it's now it's now not safe for work. <laughs> just uh, just to be Ten, very here's clear. Another here. email from a fan watching uh, the game. How much do the rain tarps here at the park weigh? Oh, you always give me the hard ones, Jimmy. Uh, I know it crushed a guy's leg last year, so they're pretty heavy, I imagine. <laughs> if you've got an email for Tim and I, please write us here at the booth. <laughs> Actually, just write Jimmy, because uh, I'm uh, busy this Ooh, week. Look at that horse. Everybody's a horse. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The catcher's a horse, too. Oh man, my daughter's going to horse camp tomorrow. I should show her this to get her prepared. Stewart takes a strike. On I literally hey, uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm going to a barn. This guy swings the bat, and this will be all I can think about. First of all, how lazy the horses are there if they aren't playing baseball. That'll be mostly what I'm concentrating on. 
Like, why do you guys have these crummy standing around horses? Got under that one into foul territory. Yeah, horse camp sounds pretty great. Apparently, I'm too old for horse camp. And he looks at the pitch off the plate. Not an easy pitch to lay off. He's really developing some patience now. <laughs> Your club and bat. That's right. Just show up with, <laughs> with my cleats, my glove, my bat. Go, I'm here for horse camp. The to the Spring pitcher. training. And he is out at first. <laughs> My daughter, um, last year, um, they were talking in class one day about what sort of uh, jobs their parents did. And my daughter told her teacher that I teach classes about video games at, uh, at my university. And we received a, a text message from the teacher there that day saying that we need to have to talk with our daughter about lying in the classroom <laughs> and that uh and that uh you know that that wasn't appropriate and just to let her know let us know that she had done that and it's like well actually <laughs> nobody it's not wrong Frank, Frank, yeah <laughs> martinez sets up By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome. So glad you could be here for yeah, this he bite on that ridiculous, a ridiculous game. A long way. I did set the record straight, it. and I get it. I mean, I imagine if you aren't familiar with like the academic study of video games, a kid telling you that does sound like just nonsense at some level. So I get it, but I thought it was pretty funny. It's like, no, she wasn't lying. You know, they say ball players have great eyes, and, and that's a good example right there. Who is horse? He's throwing a really great game right now. Martinez. And he gets under it, and that'll go foul. Martinez. And here's the windup. Hit hard on the ground to short. Rose to first. <laughs> It's my dad who old plays as a baseball horse <laughs> for money. That's right. I'm in this for the money. You all know that. Two outs. And first of all, I'm all about the money. That's why I've now switched over to an exclusively horse baseball streamer. Look out, Lyle. Whoa. Right back at the pitcher. Oh, my God, the horse. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. You see him kill Breaks that horse? Second. You can kiss that one goodbye. A home run. Mm, someone's got to go to the old glue factory. The to two. Oh, the crowd love that, Jimmy. Just listen to them. Yeah, they do. You know, I hate it when I'm outside the park and I hear the crowd roar. I know I missed something good. Yeah, and then you, you run inside, but it's, it's too late. I know what you mean, partner. The pitching coach might want to come out and talk it over with the pitcher after that, Jimmy. Just say, hey, it happens to everyone. Throw one under the next guy's whiskers. Let him know you're not scared. Yeah. Usually the coach will say, hey, I got five other guys who want them. <laughs> okay. We've got to get one more code in here. What? Sith Princess, if you could give me the best code <laughs> that uh, that they have to offer. What? What is the one more code that we need to get in? The one that's going to change everything. Oh, no. Yeah, I know you're right. That fable summary would be upsetting. Okay. Okay, we need the perfect code. Something that's going to be even better than horses. Okay. Two, three, one down. Aliens. Tonight's contest. The Baltimore Orioles take on the Colorado Rockies. Alien team. Let's see what we got. I think it's alien team. That's what we need. Face slides. Strange how you don't get commentary on the loading screen sometimes. By the way, thanks for joining me in that. This is such a weird game for me to be playing. Tomorrow night I'll be back around... 10 p.m. Eastern Logan, everybody, Tim with more of the Wolf Among Us. Jimmy, you look a little down. What's the matter? Hi, uh, my parakeet, Petey. I, uh, he's sick. He's just laying in the cage. 
tried to give a chicken ball last night, but it was too hot. Well, I don't know if you should be giving a parakeet chicken. Scalded it. Anyway, it's time to play ball. And here comes the top of the order in the first. <laughs> It's not very cool. We can't hold the bat right because its hands don't work like they should. He is throwing some cheese. That's what we call a three alarm fastball. Like them chicken wings we had for lunch. I think this is the second installment in the Slugfest series, but don't quote me on that. And he was just caught a little off balance there. Nice pitch, though. There's a little alien butt. Bases are empty. He's so naked. Butler digs in. Medium Brett Butler at the bat. There's a shot, second base. Fires to first. Out. <laughs> this is what would happen if Roger Wilco failed. That's right, this is the Sarians. Thank you over our national pass stuff. Your Nanian uh, baseball. Okay, alien. What do you got? Fooled him with that pitch. He seemed to hesitate for a second, Jimmy, and then just never caught up with it. It's a good question. I wonder if these models existed for other games. Erickson. I mean, I'm guessing a horse wearing a baseball uniform base had that right flying field. around. <laughs> okay, let's check out. <laughs> I'm going to quit. I can't, I can't go on like this. <laughs> we do need to check the evil clown team. I'm curious if we'll just be a taller version of the rodeo clowns. Was there anything else that we really had to try? Is there anything better than Evil cr uh, Clown? Because I'm open to any suggestions. Ooh, oh man, Dolphin, that's even better. So, one, zero, two. Yeah, no, definitely Dolphin. Matchup: The Milwaukee Brewers will go up against the Philadelphia Phillies. Hope we just saw Dan Marino. Oh, guys, there's going to be a Dolphin team. Hey, Jimmy, what are y'all dressed up for that big uh, high school reunion tonight? After the game, yes, thirty years. Thirty years. Thirty years. Wow. Yep. I know that this girl's going to be there. This girl used to be beautiful. Yeah. And I'm hoping that she still is after you know what, thirty Jimmy, years. They all, all the beautiful ones, they they look like truck drivers. I mean, no. they, you give them 30 years, I'm telling you, they eat no. the potato chips, they're lying on the couch, it's going to be a disaster. Don't look for it, it'll just disappoint you. Oh, just because you're white. Nah. <laughs> okay. Hello Guys, and welcome everyone. There's going to be a dolphin along team. With baseball. What's, What's wrong with play? baseball's poster child, Jimmy Shorts? I, you know, I ate some bad clams last night. I'm feeling a little seasick, so well, you don't talk so loud today, kid. Well, Jimmy, you know, clams in Spanish mean toilets of the sea, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, you are green, Jimmy. Anyway, now it's time to play ball. Oh, my God. It's like the Simpsons episode. Oh, my God. Sends a blast to center field. And Sanchez pulls it down. <laughs> Oh, God. You know, right now would be a good time for a double. One out, and nobody on base. <laughs> oh, it's stretching. <laughs> Fires. Oh, this game is broken my brain. <laughs> Fly ball, right field. He makes the grab. These dolphins suck. Come on, Dolphin. There are two Get together. Base is empty. Here's a blowhole. Oh, wow. Tell me. Stands in. Oh, gosh, y'all. This, this may be the best moment I've ever had on stream or otherwise. Over the shortstop. Like, after the birth of my daughter, this, this could be the best. Reach. Tell me. Rounding first. Rounding second. Uh oh. The throw to second. Throws to third. Fires to second. Oh, man. <laughs> he bodied that dolphin. After a half inning of play, we are scoreless. And here comes the batter. <laughs> okay, let's let's see bobbleheads. I've got to see one more. I should end on dolphins because I know whatever we see next isn't going to be better than dolphins.
Uh, you know. Okay. Let's see Bobblehead. One, three, three, down. Can do that. Tampa Bay, that's right. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays take on the Minnesota Twins. See the bobblehead team. Oh, Forbidden City Stadium. Rocket Park hey, Stadium. Tim. Yeah, Jim, kind of busy. What is it? Who do you think would win in a mm. cage match? You know what a cage match is? Where they throw two people in a cage? And I've they heard go... about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who, would you, who would you pick in a cage match? Aunt B from uh, Andy and Mayberry uh -huh. or Alice from the Brady Bunch? Oh, tough one. Um, in a cage match. Alice I, from the Brady yeah. Bunch well, or Aunt B. Do they get uh, to have anything with them? Any foreign objects? Like, like a, a, aluminum well, chair. Well, okay. a rolling pin because Aunt B would probably... Whatever. Who you know, would you pick? The, I'm taking Aunt B. Because her Me center too. of gravity is lower. She's got the weight. She gets you up against the yep. ropes. It's all Everybody over. Everybody I'm talking to is picking Aunt B because yeah. her arms are so big. They're like canned well, hams. She, but she won't go down. She'll be like, you know, she'll pop Whatever. right back up. Aunt B smashing an aluminum chair over Alice yeah. from the Brady Bunch. Now she'd get, yeah. I'd pay to see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hard to believe this game exists, right? Hello again, everybody. Tim Kitzer with you along with my good I'm friend. I'm clearly Jimmy delighted, Shards, though. Jimmy. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get to the park today. The only thing better than baseball is payday. Hey, look, these guys jip me out of a thousand bucks. Tim. Well, Jimmy, they said they were going to take that out of your check for the monitor you blew up last week. Jones steps in. And that was just an embarrassing swing right there. This is uh, very disturbing. Listen to you youngsters. Don't embarrass yourself. These bobbleheads are upsetting. Hit hard right side. Out at first. Hmm, good question. Let's see. <laughs> the bobbleheads aren't as exciting as I was hoping. Their heads aren't bobbling enough. I was really hoping they'd really be loose on the axis. Let's see the Napolitano team. What we get there. Two, three, two, down. Let's go, Angels versus Angels. Nice game. The Anaheim Angels take on the Anaheim Angels. This is a, oh no. Oh no, I did it. No. Now it's gonna take. Uh, All right, thanks, Janet. Hey, Jimmy, you know what? Uh, I, I uh, got a call last night. I'm a finalist in some special giveaway sweepstakes to win a TV, a trip to Florida, and some timeshare thing or something. Isn't that, isn't that unbelievable luck? Yeah, I think I messed this up. I was, yeah, no, I was wondering the same thing. Hi, Tim here no, we maybe got it. Partner Jimmy Shorts. And here's the batter to lead things off. No, this looks like we did. Okay. Let's try this again. Hmm. Two, three, two down. Okay. Gotta make this work. Never playing this game again, so I've got to see everything I want to see now. Contest. The Anaheim Angels take on the Anaheim Angels. Oops. Okay, I messed that up. Let's see. I'm getting sleepy, y'all. What can we do here? Is there a way for me to reset in this emulator? No. That's a, that's a big no. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more attempt, and then I have to go to bed. Let's see, maybe we'll try the, uh, the Olsen team. That was 222 up. I can probably do that. In my diminished state, I bet I can enter that code better. 222 up. Tonight's contest. The Anaheim Angels take on the New York Yankees. Oops, that's the Rivera team. Hope it's all for all the Rivera. <laughs> you know, I was thinking to myself as I look at this beautiful field, What's baseball. That, baseball, a few games a year, they ought to play donkey baseball. Remember oh, that? Terrific, yeah. Remember in high school, that, yeah. uh, seniors would take on the teachers? Yeah. Well, the players could take on yeah, the different teams. 
but they're 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 on um, donkeys. Sure, everybody playing. loves donkeys, Jimmy. That'd be a great yeah, idea. Yeah, it'd be a fun night. It'd, it'd be something different. Yeah. And uh, the hooves. Yeah. Would actually. You could put cleats on them. It'd look cute, wouldn't it? Wow. Well, yeah, I guess you could put cleats sure. on a donkey, and uh, that might be kind of painful if the donkey oh, slides into the home. they don't home. feel anything. <laughs> yeah, they do. No, they, they say yeah, that they their do. hooves are like uh, fingernails, so you can cut them off with a chainsaw. They wouldn't feel it. They don't feel anything. <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. Tim Kitcho. Okay, who's there? What are we just in around? What's your bear on that? And so the leadoff hitter steps up to the plate. Is everybody going to look alike? Or they're going to look like this weirdo? Ceiling. The wind up. The sound inside the helmet when you get hit is so loud. It sounds like oh, you're no. in a cave and somebody dropped a safe on your head. Yeah, it's just everybody's the same guy. Hmm. Belts one to right. They all have the same face. Yeah, that's less exciting. Rounding second. Guns it to second. Round third. And Jeter. White. They all looked like Todd earlier. Okay. So we had our McFarlane mode. <laughs> that's what was going on. All right. Well, I think we may have explored this game to its utmost. <laughs> I think we've gotten all the content we can. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining me for this really weird game. Oh my goodness, this has been a strange stream. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if there's anyone on that we can raid. We can try to forward the strange energy elsewhere. Who's on? Who's on? Who's on? Who's on? Let's see. Hmm. Lonely Geekus. Geekus, I guess would be the better way to pronounce that. It's playing Parasite Eve tonight. So maybe he, uh, they will raid over there and uh, and say hey to her. Thank you all so much for joining me. Guys. It's been a weird, fun stream. I appreciate y'all hanging out. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there and hope to see you on the other side. Take care.